Videon Procedure Active Steps for Operating Room Staff The scrub nurse removes the plastic safety cap from the disposable applicator. This only applies when the RDM has been sterilized. If a sheath is being used, the safety cap has already been removed. Retain the safety cap for removal and disposal of the disposable applicator at the end of treatment. Align the cable so that it is nearly straight, but not too taut, when preparing for device deployment, just prior to beginning the procedure. Keep the device components within the sterile field when doing this. At this stage, please be aware of the following warnings. Do not allow sharp bends or twists in the drive cable between the disposable delivery module and handheld cable actuator, as this could affect deployment or retraction or slow down the rate of travel of the source. Do not pull the cable so tight that it interferes with the ability of the retinal surgeon to maneuver within the eye. Do not allow your hands to touch release trigger during deployment. Activate the device with gentle and consistent force. Depress the lever to deploy the device. When the retinal surgeon indicates that the disposable applicator tip is in the mid-vitreous position, the scrub nurse, on request by the retinal surgeon, will actuate the advanced lever on the handheld cable actuator. The advancement lever will lock into place. Check the drive cable indicator windows to confirm that the radiation source has been deployed successfully. Both the handheld cable actuator indicator windows should change from white to black. The disposable delivery module proximal indicator window should change from black to white, and the distal indicator window should change from white to black. The retinal surgeon then moves the device downward until the applicator tip is in the correct position and then notifies the appointed timekeeper to start the timer for the treatment time selected. Treatment time should start when the disposable applicator tip is placed in position on the retina. Do not operate the release trigger unless requested by the retinal surgeon. Doing so will retract the radiation source and interrupt the procedure. If the retinal surgeon interrupts the procedure, the radiation source must be retracted into the shielded position prior to removal from the eye. In this case, depress the release trigger while ensuring that the advancement lever is not depressed. Note, each time the procedure is interrupted, the timer must be stopped. When the cannula is repositioned properly again and the radiation source is advanced, the timer can be restarted for the remainder of the duration of the treatment time as specified.